Ah, could you see that? Seven degrees, 8.30 in the morning. It's on a Sunday. I'm quite bleary. I haven't had a coffee yet, but I am just about to embark upon the two and a half hour to get myself down to the fantastic Great Dixter Gardens in Sussex. They've got their autumn plant fair today. I am very, very excited. So is my purse. Uh, we're going to go and spend some money. Right, we just turned up at the garden and just paid to go in. See the lovely man there taking our money and giving us a nice old fashioned paper ticket. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get inside, see what's going on with the plant there, and most importantly, just absorb ourselves in the glory of Great Dicks. So just going back to the car park to drop off our purchases and who should be helping to park the cars than the one and only head gardener here at Great Dixter, Fergus Garrett. Hello. Hi Fergus. Joe and I have just spent quite a lot of money at the um, plant fair and we're now about to go back into the garden to enjoy the actual Great Dixter Gardens itself. What would you recommend we look at at this time of year? Well the exotic garden looks nice and it's interesting because we do it differently every, every year and this year we decided to take all that sort of muscular planting, the big leaves out of it and then to have the whole thing closing over the top so you feel as though you're in a green room but with lots of lots of sort of subtle te textures and also leaving the metal canopy slightly open so you can look through it so it has a very 3D effect so you don't feel too claustrophobic in there so that's quite nice Yeah. and yeah. of course at the plant fair there's probably the best subtropical man in the world Dino Pelizzaro who uh, supplies all those delicious plants Right, we might need to go back Joe and spend some more money that's what Fergus is telling us yeah. <laughs> Thank you as much, it's lovely to meet you. And behind me is the exotic garden. So you just come out from the barn, hang on, my, my head, into this amazing space. Can you see behind me how jungly this is and how the garden just goes on and on. Oh, look at that. And on. So we're going to just try and walk forward. You need a machete in some ways to get through this, but we're going to give it a go. <laughs> oh my god, what is that? Right, I might need to turn around to go backwards. I'm sorry, Joe. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> Great Dixter, and you can just see there are so many beautiful plants here. Behind me, you've got a rose, you've got cannas, you've got uh, the perennial sunflower, helianthemum, salvias. Oh, what have we got that way? Uh, marigolds, all sorts of absolutely stunning plants in this lovely, lovely sunlight. It is just a dream. <laughs> stumbled across what I would say is an iconic Dixter plant for me, um, an amazing dahlia, can't see what variety it is but it's the most sumptuous red and also the topiary peacocks. Lady, there's this massive spalier pear going up and up and up and up and up. <laughs> we're just blown away by the size of this dahlia, aren't we, Joe? It's yes, literally, we're, it's how tall are you? I'm five foot five, four. Six, maybe? Yeah, and then look, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just nuts. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, so I'm just gonna wrap up here today. Um, I have to say, these people over here, just wave at the camera, you're superstars. They've lent me their phone battery because my phone died and I couldn't do my last sequence. But uh, we have had the most, a marvelous day at Great Dixter. The autumn sunlight is now really low. We're just looking over the most amazing sea of dahlia flowers and it's time for me to go home. Uh, so thank you so much for joining me on my day at Great Dixter and I really hope you enjoyed the video. We're right on the edge of the exotic garden. If I turn around... Oh no, I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> and it's, <laughs> it's my fault. No, it's my fault. I'm just an idiot. 